Hello guys, welcome back with me, Potato Roboto. Today I am going to do an unboxing and review for the Funko Pop Kingdom Hearts Halloween Town Sora. This pop is actually an exclusive to Hot Topics, but the one that I've got is with the sticker of Special Edition. But more or less, it's basically uh, the figure is the same. So let's go through the box first. It comes with the number 328, and this is the Halloween Town version of Sora. So as you can see, uh, this is Sora comes with his vampire suit. Now this is the, the other side. You can see half of his face, and well, the rest is basically uh, the default Funko Pop packaging. This is back of the side. Uh, it shows you the other five uh, default figures from the Kingdom Hearts uh, waves, and this is the right side. You can see the whole uh, art of the Halloween Town Sora with the number and well. Funko Pop uh, logo. So, I will do the unboxing right now. Just one minute. Now it's quite difficult, but I'll try from the other side. Yep, it's better. So I will get him out. Yep, remove the plastic cover as usual. And there we go. Now, this is Halloween Town Sora. As you guys remembered, this comes in the Kingdom Hearts 2. And this is when Sora comes to the Halloween Town. His uniform will be changed into the vampire suits. Because you can notice that there's um, two mini bat uh, wings coming out from his back. And with white gloves, this is supposed to be a claw. But Funko decided to make it like a uh, normal pair of hands so okay I think a little bit more detail would be nice but anyway this is the detail of the hat comes with a small um, pumpkin head over here that's plastered all over um, Sora's right eyes you can see the detail of the pumpkins it's really nice detail itself see I don't see so far small mist paint here and there nonetheless it's really fun uh, with the eyes a little darkened eyes so his eyes are his pupil is already dark but comes with another uh, dark eyelash i think <laughs> so this is the side see uh Pamko decided to put a small ears over here that makes the fact that uh, the ears just coming out from his hair the other side also oh that's not really good but it's on the side so if you put the figure in front so you won't really notice it well this is the back side of the hair see quite nice little detail made by Funko <laughs> you can see uh, quite a few uh, lines over here just to create the effect of a hair lines right. this is the uh, uh, lower part of the hair and this is the bad wings see it's in small nice little wings and about the glove itself is standard with an uh, axe plastered on top of his uh, white gloves. Uh, this is for the torso. He wears a black coat. Comes with small um, accessories to show him a bit of vampiristic uh, style. Comes with the uh, white pauldrons. And yeah, this detail of the belt. It's also a uh, luckily no miss pain over here and there, no defects. It's really good. This is the lower part shoes. See, comes with a little red-ish uh, leggings, I think. And this is the shoes. Nothing really uh, exceptional. Lower part, but yeah, that's it. What? What's a bit? Um, Disappointing is it doesn't come with his keyblade because his keyblade is also a change um, according uh, with the vampiristic style. So it's a bummer because this is just a Sora without his uh, signature keyblade, but nonetheless, it's quite a nice uh, Funko Pop figure. That's it. So that's for the unboxing and review of the Funko Pop Kingdom Hearts Halloween Town Sora. 
Um, although it is a nice figure, I am a little bit disappointed that it doesn't come with his Keyblade. I mean, uh, the Keyblade in this Halloween Town is also changed according to his suits. So it's actually really nice if uh, Funko have decided to give him a Keyblade, but not nada. So yeah, well, that's a bummer. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you find this video is interesting? If yes, hit likes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Funko Pops reviews. Okay, that's it for now from me, Potato Roboto, signing off. Bye-bye.